Hi, my name is Frankie Carl, creator and tech geek. Join me as I travel through the beautiful country of Vietnam. We traveled from Ireland to Vietnam, arriving first in Ho Chi Minh City, formerly Saigon. After 24 hours of traveling, one bus, three flights, and a car journey, we arrived in our hotel in District 1. But there was a problem. Good morning, Vietnam. You're very welcome back to the channel. My name is Frankie Carroll, and you're more than welcome. If you haven't been here before, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you get something from this. So here we are, we arrived in Vietnam last night, very, very late after a long 24 hour journey. Our journey started, we left Cork uh, day before yesterday and we got the bus to Dublin. Our first flight was from Dublin Airport with Aer Lingus. Uh, we booked all of our travel arrangements through booking.com, not sponsored. So all of our flights were booked through those guys uh, and the connecting flights as well. So that meant that our bags from Dublin were booked through all the ways to Ho Chi Minh City. Um, luckily enough, when we got on the, or the Aer Lingus flight, they were absolutely fantastic. Now, because of our situation, because my partner Paula is uh, a little incapacitated at the moment, so she's on crutches and in a wheelchair as well, uh, we were very lucky that we were very well taken care of the whole way over. We travelled business class from Dublin to Heathrow Airport. Then we had an hour, very, very stressful hour, transfer to get our flight from Heathrow uh, flying all the ways to Bangkok. Now, when we arrived in Heathrow Airport, unfortunately there was no one there to help us with assistance, so we had to run like lunatics from the gate that we got off to get our connecting flight. Luckily enough, we just barely made it because it was delayed by 20 minutes. Um, so we did actually make that flight, almost nearly getting a heart attack and everything else. So I had to run with about 100 pounds worth of weight on my back, as well as pushing Paula on the uh, wheelchair as well. So we arrived at uh, the gate just in time, barely, to board our flight. So then we had an 11 hour flight from Heathrow all the way to Bangkok. And when we arrived at Bangkok, uh, we were met there with some people that gave us assistance, uh, which was absolutely wonderful because we got to uh, skip basically all the queues going through. And that was with Thai, airlines and then when we arrived in Bangkok our connecting flight from Bangkok to Ho Chi Minh City was with uh, Thai Airlines again uh, their smaller company I think it's called Thai Dream um, so we arrived in Ho Chi Minh City last night uh, the hotel that we're staying in is the Onluck Legend don't you mean the Old Wack Legend what? the Old Wack Legend oh it's the Olak Legend Hotel. We were very lucky because they picked us up at the airport, uh, came out of the airport and it was carnage around there. I mean, so many people. But we found our driver and we ended up in the Unluck uh, Hotel. Again, the Olak legend. All right. It's the Olak legend. Oh, God. And arrived in, like I said last night, we were so tired after 24 hours of traveling that we did very, very little filming last night. So we walked this morning to beautiful sunshine. Uh, the heat here is about 35 degrees at the moment. The humidity is very, very high. Uh, we got up this morning, came down, and we had an absolutely amazing breakfast. The staff here were absolutely fantastic. We had some noodle dishes, plenty of fruit. Um, we had some wonderful creme brulee. Uh, the food was absolutely amazing. So unfortunately, my bags didn't make it all the way. Paula did have her bags, but my bag actually didn't make it. So I had to basically be in the clothes that I wore all day yesterday, which didn't smell too good, trust me. And what we decided was after breakfast, we came back up, had a very quick shower, whether it made a difference to me or not, I don't know. Um, and then we decided that we were going to take a quick trip and we headed off uh, on our journey to tackle the streets to go in search of a t-shirt for me just in case I needed it for today. Found a H&M and managed to pick up a t-shirt there. We passed some of the wonderful landmarks on the way so we didn't do too much filming today 
this is just about our journey into Ho Chi Minh City and it was nearly a complete disaster. First impressions of the city is, you know, it's just a metropolis. It's absolutely fantastic. Traffic is just chaotic here. So many, I mean, you see it on the videos, but you don't realize it until you actually get here. So we've got a couple of days here in Ho Chi Minh City and hopefully you'll stick with us. Hit that subscribe button and follow our travels through Vietnam over the next couple of weeks and check back in very, very soon with us and you're going to see what we have in store, all the sights, sounds, smells and food all around Ho Chi Minh City. Here's a quick look at the room when we arrived last night. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Love! What? There's a heated toilet seat in here. Oh, I don't look for that sound. There's a heated toilet seat here. And it squirts water. Okay, so my bag finally arrived. And I think I figured out as to why it didn't come with the rest of our stuff when it was uh, being shipped over. So in Bangkok, uh, the bag got held up there, and I think I know the reason why it actually got held up. This was in the top of my bag, and thanks to Barry's tea, uh, I think my bag got stopped. Um, basically, I can see they've opened up a few of the tea bags, so we like our bit of comfort. We like to have our bit of Barry's tea coming from Cork, and uh, basically. You know, I think it was stopped because of this. But, you know, it got here now. So a day later, happy enough. So thank you, Barry's Tea. Join me next time when I try coconut coffee, take in the rest of Ho Chi Minh City, visit the post office, take on the Saigon traffic, meet some K-pop dancers, relax on the balcony, and get over my fear of heights and get emotional in the city's top attractions.